Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And <laughs> let's go ahead and talk about this uh, Tessica Brown. Not this Tessica Brown, but her name is Tessica Brown, better known as the Gorilla Glue Girl. Um, when this story first broke, I was I was tickled because I was like, "Girl, the girl's all fool." And then, you know, I realized like, you know, this could be something serious for this woman. Um. And, you know, I saw a lot of people talking about how, you know, the things that black women have to go through when, you know, as it pertains to their hair. And that made me kind of have a soft spot for Tessica. And then I'm, I'm just be honest with y'all, girl. I just kind of snapped out of it, girl. I, I'm just, this is how I look at this story. For those who have been living under a rock, let me just break it down as quickly as possible. So we have Tessica Brown, better known as Gorilla Glue Girl. She ran out of the product that she needed to do her hair. So the next, the next best, best thing that she thought would help her out was to put some Gorilla Glue in her hair. Let me give you an example of what I've used Gorilla Glue on. When my bed was broken a while ago, I went to the store and bought some Gorilla Glue in hopes that it would fix my bed. Now, my bed stayed together for a couple of hours and then it fell back. It fell, it, it fell back to the flow. But that just goes to show you what people use Gorilla Glue on, you know? She puts the Gorilla Glue in her hair. From what I understand, she, her hair had, it was stuck. It wouldn't move. Her It was like, it had been that way for like a month. And then she decided to make a video, I guess, showing how her hair would not move. Um... So this situation really made national news. Like, girl, it was all over CNN, the blogs, everywhere you turned. Like, I think she did an interview. Not I think, not I think she did. She did an interview with like TMZ. It really kind of like took over the news wave. It's about to rain. Um, but anyway, so I need, I, I need to go to the store. Anyways, so, look, I'm just going to go ahead and say, okay, so basically this girl so far, I went and she, she started a GoFundMe um, because at the time, now as of today, Gorilla Glue, uh, let me stop calling her Gorilla Glue girl, Tessica Brown, she had surgery um, by a doctor, uh, from a doctor, uh, his name is Dr. Michael Obing, I believe. Um, he did the procedure free of charge when he got the glue out of her hair. You know, she got about this much hair. I don't know how much she had before, um, but they didn't have to shave her hair. Uh, you know, I, I assume that they were probably going to have to just, if they could get to it. Because that's the thing I was trying to explain to somebody. They were like, well, why, why don't she just shave her hair off? She can't shave her hair off because I don't think the clippers would even... Cause it's like stuck to her scalp. Like I didn't think there was a way for her to even shave it off. I thought that eventually I thought the doctor would have to shave it off once they got to a certain, I don't know if I thought she was going to be bald. Basically. I thought that whatever, I thought that whatever the procedure was or whatever the doctor was going to uh, do, I thought that the, at the end of the day, she was going to be bald. Um, but Anyways, uh, so as of today, she's actually completely fine. Um, they got the glue out of her hair and she's good to go. <sighs> you, Tessica Brown, if you ever see this video, girl, for some reason, I feel like she watched my videos. I don't know why. Tessica, if you ever come, come across this video, girl, I'm sorry. Like, you have to be dumb, stupid, and retarded to put some Gorilla Glue in your fucking hair. Like, as much as I really just tried to feel sorry for her, I did for like a little bit, and then I was like, girl, I just can't, like, I just can't, like, girl, we are, you too fucking grown to be going around here because you can't get your hair the way that you wanna get your hair. You gonna put some fucking Gorilla Glue on your goddamn head? Gorilla Glue. The same shit that I use to try to put my bed together. The same shit that people use to put furniture together. You put it on your scalp. 
And then you got mad that I'm sorry, from what I read online, allegedly she got upset with the hospital because I think she's from a small town in Louisiana and the hospital that she went to really couldn't help her. And this is the thing about these small towns and these hospitals or these, you know, clinics, wherever. These people, in my opinion, I don't think they're really e equipped to deal with something like that. Like, girl, I'm just going to be honest with y'all. I'm from a small town. Bitch, if you get sick or get, if you get shot or if it's something life-threatening, baby, you need to drive to the nearest biggest city. Because I would not fool with a hospital in a small town. Girl, they're not used to doing nothing like that. So how you going to get mad at them over some stupid-ass shit that your ass done done? Them, th those people probably used to probably throw, you know, the, the, the girl coming in having a baby. Okay, we got we got a pediatrician. What is it? What is it? Pe pediatrician? We got somebody who, you know, oh girl, she broke her arm. <laughs> uh, her arm came out of the socket. Pop it back in. But anything that could be life threatening or a situation like this, I don't think that a small town and the doctors and nurses, um, I don't feel like they would be qualified to handle something like that. Honestly, um, so she had a she started a GoFundMe page. The GoFundMe was actually only for $1,500 because she said that she, I guess, you know, at the end of the day, she didn't know what the outcome was going to be, but she was going to need some wigs to, you know, just get her through until her hair started to grow back. As of right now, I think that she has $20,773 in her GoFundMe. I ain't donate shit. <laughs> Hello? So before we even start, I ain't get shit. And I wasn't getting shit. Um, I went to that girl Instagram page. And this is no tea, no shade. This is no tea, no shade. Hello? Anytime somebody say no tea, no shade, it's all tea and it's all shade. But girl, no tea, no shade. Ain't nothing about Tessica in her hair gives me $20,000. Ain't nothing about Tessica in her hair gives me even $1,500 for what she was asking for. Tessica gave me very much so synthetic tees. Um, she gave me very much, you know, the hair that costs $30. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I know it sounds like I'm being shady, but I'm really not. Um, so for, he, for, he, for, he, for, he, for her, her to even ask, for fifteen hundred dollars for wigs, like my thing is, how many wigs were you like? I'm not even like. I guess you don't know. I guess no one really knew the out. Like I said, I thought that the outcome was gonna be even if the if a doctor could help her, the end the outcome was gonna be her basically being completely bald. That's what I thought. Um, but even with that being said, girl, how many wigs do you think you're gonna need to get you by just for a few months? Because, girl, in a few months, your hair going to grow back. Unless they told you something. The, the, unless they told you something about the 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 glue being you no know, so damaging that, girl, it's a wrap on your hair. Okay, there may be that, but I don't know. I just, I just think it's dumb. I think it's dumb. I think it's stupid. I don't understand how people walking around here and this girl putting Gorilla Glue in her fucking hair and y'all turn it into this, like black women in her hair struggle like i get it i get it but like y'all this was a grown-ass woman and her kids damn it look my age quiet as this kill okay her kids don't look my age but girl she got some kids that's up there in age so clearly this is a this woman probably got to be over 40. and you walking around here putting gorilla glue on your fucking hair And then I heard she said something about what well, she's suing. She was going to sue Gorilla Glue because it didn't say anything about putting the Gorilla Glue in, in, in hair. I want to know, Tessica, when you went about that Gorilla Glue, what was your purpose of going to buy that Gorilla Glue? You bought that Gorilla Glue initially to more than likely fix something or put something together in your house. You did not buy that Gorilla Glue. For your hair. Ain't nobody ever heard of Gorilla Glue going inside, going on a fucking scalp. Or going on a track to glue your fucking track to your scalp. Nobody's ever heard of that before. Or to slick your hair down. So the simple fact that you did it. 
And like I said, I felt bad for for a second. And then I was like, no, no. We have to just, girl, no, we grown. Stop doing stupid shit. We all do stupid shit, but this was like stupid, 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 stupid. This was like some shit that like my niece would do. But, but she's five. Hello? They're three. Five and three. They see glue. They ain't gonna know what no fucking gorilla glue is. But girl, somebody who's a grown ass woman, I would expect a little bit more from. I'm sorry. I don't feel sorry for her. No, I don't. She done got shot out of $20,000. And still can go get a cute pixie cut if she want to. Mama got enough hair on her head to go get a cute pixie cut. Show do. Show do. Anyways, girl, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of talking about her, girl. Shout out to uh, Tesla, girl. You done came up, girl. But they say you scamming. I don't know if you scamming or not. But, girl, it sound like one. Girl, either way it go, girl, you done got $20,000 out of the people. Girl, go have the time of your life. Um, let's talk. You know, I, I wanted to talk about this one girl who real dumb. Nick Cannon. <sighs> Let me play this clip. I've legit been on such a roller coaster of emotions for the past week. Like, this is honestly my first time that I've been so close to somebody who's caught COVID. So I have no idea. Like, I don't know what the game plan is. I don't know like how to process it emotionally but he's back and he's good i'm back i'm good no girl you're dumb you're stupid you're dumb and stupid so that's a girl named lanisha cole she supposedly has been off and on with nick cannon since 2000 and 17, I believe. I don't know what Nick Cannon got between his thighs. Nick Cannon just had a baby with his baby mama, another baby with his baby mama. Jessica White just came out and said that they were no longer in a relationship. And I, cause I don't know, I thought Jessica White said that she had a miscarriage from, she had a miscarriage. Yeah, she had a, I think that's what she said. And now you got this one girl coming on online, smiling and she's in, he's good. I'm good. Girl, you smiling, bitch, like you got a prize. You ain't got no fucking prize. You got the same nigga that Jessica White had and his other baby mama had. And clearly he fucking all y'all bitches raw because everybody getting pregnant and they having babies except for you. And the only reason why Jessica didn't have hers is because she miscarried. And you got the nerve to get online like you got like you don't want something. Girl, y'all are quick to get on the World Wide Web looking like a motherfucking fool over a goddamn nigga. He would have never pulled this stuff with Mariah. He pulling it with y'all because he know y'all stupid enough to stick around. Ask Mariah was this shit going on when she was with Nick Cannon. I guarantee you Mariah gonna tell you hell fucking no. I saw that though. I saw that and I just rolled my eyes at her. I said, girl, how are you so goddamn purity, but so goddamn dumb at the same goddamn time? Girl, what are y'all bitches doing? All right, y'all. I'm done. Bye.